हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू यर फिजिक्स क्लास दिस इज यर फिजिक्स टीचर होप यू ऑल आर गुड सो इन ये स्टडीज वीडियो यू हैव लर्न अबाउट द प्रोपिगेशन ऑफ साउंड थ्रू सोलिड्स लिक्विड्स एंड गैसेस एंड द टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू द साउंड विच आर एम्पलीट्यूड फ्रीक्वेंसी टाइम पीरियड एंड वेव लेंथ सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक that is types of sound so as we know in our everyday life we hear so many sounds there are different or various types of sounds that we hear some of the them are very good to hear and some of them we didn't like so the sound which are good to hear are known as pleasant sounds and the sounds which we didn't like to hear that are known as unpleasant some sounds are pleasant and some are unpleasant so depending on the pleasant and unpleasant sensation to the ears sound is categorized into two categories first is the music and second is the noise or musical or noisy sound so what which sound is musical and which sound is noisy the sound which is produced by the musical instruments and the singers is pleasant to hear or any other sounds like the sounds produced by some birds are also very good to pleasant so that sounds are known as musical sounds and these pleasant sounds are produced by regular or periodic vibrations the pleasant sounds are produced by regular which are regular that means which are produced after a fixed regular interval of time that are known as regular or periodic so the pleasant sounds are produced by regular or periodic vibrations this is the wave form of a musical wave or which is produced by regular vibrations wave form this is a wave form wave form means wave structure of a musical wave next we will talk about the unpleasant sound so which sound is unpleasant for example the sound produced by a vehicle and machines are unpleasant to hear and the other frictional sounds these are also unpleasant to hear so that's why these unpleasant sounds are uh, these unpleasant sounds are produced by irregular vibrations irregular means non periodic which are not repeating themselves after a regular interval of time and uh, the wave form of the noise wave or the noisy sound is like this some are of being the periodic and some are and some spikes are not periodic so it means they are irregular vibrations so this is the wave form of a noisy sound so we can classify music and noise like this that is sound which has a pleasing sensation on the ears is called music and a sound which doesn't have a pleasing sensation on the ears or which is not pleasant to hear is called noise here is the difference between music and noise music is produced by regular or periodic vibrations in a medium and noise is produced by irregular or non periodic vibrations in a medium secondly music is pleasing to hear or it is pleasing to our ears but noise is unpleasant to hear the third one is that amplitude and frequency of a musical wave do not change musical wave amplitude and frequency do not change but the amplitude and frequency of a noise wave will change here you can see the amplitude and frequency of a musical wave is not changing amplitude remains same everywhere this is the amplitude and the frequency will also remain the same but in noise the amplitude sometimes it is more and sometime it is very less like this and frequency is also varying the number of vibrations in one second is also different at various places like this frequency is not regular so these are the differences and one more difference we can add that uh, music uh, is produced by the musical instruments 
and the singers and other uh, pleasant music and the noise is produced by the vehicles and the machine so this this these are the differences between the music and noise next are the characteristics of sound waves so what is the meaning of characteristics of sound wave that means which things are making sound waves or on which things a so sound from a source depends so in our everyday life we hear so many sounds produced by different objects and living organisms like the sound of a crow is different from the sound of a peacock so here is the difference what is the difference uh, or how we can say that how two different things produce different sounds so the there are three important characteristics of sound which are responsible for different sounds they are loudness it is also known as intensity of sound pitch which is also known as frequency and quality which is also known as timbre of sound so these are the three characteristics which make a sound so each sound that we hear is a unique combination of these three characteristics now we will study about these three characteristics one by one so first is the loudness what is loudness loudness is that characteristic of sound which distinguishes feeble or weak sound from a loud sound of the same frequency frequency is the same frequency of uh, the sound is same but of the two sounds is same but one sound is soft and one sound is loud so which makes a difference between the soft sound and the loud sound that is loudness because loudness of a sound is uh, related to the amount of sound energy received by unit area per second B loudness ultimately depends on sound energy more the sound energy carried by a wave more will be the loudness it is the, it depends upon the amount of sound energy carried by a wave or carried by a sound wave so loudness of sound depends on the falling first is the amplitude of sound as the amplitude of sound wave increases loudness increases so what is the amplitude this is the amplitude which is the maximum displacement from its mean position here you can see the sound waves of same frequency but different amplitude for this is the soft sound and this is for loud sound the soft sound has small amplitude and the louder sound has larger amplitude or we can say that the as the amplitude of sound wave increases the loudness increases amplitude of a wave is directly proportional to the amount of energy it carries so greater the energy a sound wave carries louder is the sound produced as i already told you so difference is between the amplitude of the sound waves uh, for example we can uh, see that uh, some things or some persons are speaking very loud that means the amplitude of their sound is very large as compared to the others next is distance between the source of sound and the listener uh, this is very simple if we uh, move towards a loud speaker the loudness of the sound will increase that means as the distance between the source and the listener decreases the loudness of a sound increases and if the distance between the source of sound and the listener increases then the loudness will of sound will decrease so this is very obvious next is the area of vibrating body loudness depends upon the area of vibrating body larger the area of the vibrating bo body louder the sound produced so this can be seen in the case of a larger drum as compared to smaller drum a larger drum will produce more sound than a smaller sound so here you can see so it this drum will produce loud sound and this drum will produce soft sound next is the second characteristics of sound that is pitch so what is pitch 
which is that characteristics of sound which determines the sharpness or shrillness of a sound waves means jo difference deta hai ek tikhi awaaz mein aur ek soft sound mein that is known as pitch pitch is a characteristic of a sound wave which determines the sharpness or shrillness of a sound wave shrill means jo sound tik hai usko hum bolenge shrill sound so it is a effect produced in the ear due to the sound of a particular frequency if any sound wave is having the higher frequency then the pitch will be more and if the sound wave is having low frequency then the pitch will be low so pitch depends upon the frequency of a vibrating body higher the frequency of a vibrating body larger is the pitch and lower the frequency lesser is the pitch of the body so when frequency will be lower when less number of vibrations will be done in one second and these are more number of vibrations in one second and so pitch of a sound wave depends on the following first is the frequency that we have done frequency of a sound wave pitch of a sound increases with the increase in frequency next length of vibrating air column so what is vibrating air column this you can see uh, like a flute in a flute there are so many holes in the flute so what is the meaning of this vibrating air column column means the height of this flute and there is air in between this flute so whenever a flutist is प्लेइंग अ फ्लूट फ्लूटिस्ट मीन्स जब भी कोई बांसरी वाला जो बांसरी है उसको प्ले करता है देन वट ही इज डूइंग ही इज चेंजिंग द पोजिशन ऑफ हिज फिंगर्स एंड पुटिंग ऑफ द होल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ हिज फिंगर सो वट ही इज डूइंग बाई डूइंग दिस वट ही वॉन्ट्स टू डू ही इज जस्ट एडजस्टिंग द लेंथ ऑफ द एयर कॉलम दैट मीन्स when he decreases the length of the air column then a shriller sound will be produced and when he off the holes which are higher in height then a less shrill or the soft sound will be produced so the length of pitch of a sound depends upon the length of vibrating air column more the height of the air column the smaller will be the pitch and lesser the height of the air column more will be the pitch so pitch of a vibrating air column increases with the decrease in the length of the air column so these are the things on which pitch of a sound depends and next are thickness of a vibrating string so as we know if a string is thick then the sound produced will be of low pitch but if the sound but if the string is thin then the sound produced will be high pitch as you can see that in guitars and uh, sitars there will be very fine strings which are made in the sitar or guitar which we pluck and the uh, high pitch sound will be produced whereas a thicker string will produce a low pitch sound next length of the vibrating string so it the pitch or the shrillness of a sound also depends on the length of the vibrating string if the length length is short then higher pitch there will be a higher pitch of the sound but if the length is very large and if we pluck the string of a guitar or star which is having very large length then the pitch of the sound wave will be low so on these factors the pitch of a sound waves depends and based on these things or based on these principles most of the string and wind instruments work string instruments like uh, guitar sitar Uh, these work on the these principles and uh, wind instruments work on the principle that i have previously told you the, that means the, it depends upon the the shrillness of the wind instruments depends on the length of the vibrating air column so s- 
these are the characteristics which make a sound different from the another sound like sound made by a bird has a higher pitch and is therefore shriller than a lion's roar similarly if we talk about a uh, water dripping from a pipe it will have a low pitch the sound will be of low pitch and but a crying baby will have the sound of a crying baby will have high frequency so it will have a high pitch now there is an activity which we can do uh, to show that pitch of a sound increases with the increase in the frequency it is very important so to show that pitch of a sound increases with increase in the frequency we need we just need a paper card and a bicycle wheel so what we have to do firstly we will hold a bicycle wheel at its center and the another person will hold the edge of the paper against the cycle spokes these are the spokes of cycle or the rim of the cycle now rotate the wheel slowly and hear that sound the sound produced by the paper card now increase the speed of the rotating wheel again hear the sound that the paper card will make so what we will see or what we will observe we will observe that when the wheel is moving slow the a low pitch sound will be heard when it is spiking with the paper card but when the wheel moves faster a high pitch sound will be produced so what is the conclusion it is can be concluded that when the speed of rotation of the cycle wheel increases speed of rotation of the cycle wheel increases means there will be more number of uh, times that the spoke hits the card the, or the frequency will increase so when a high pitched sound is produced the sound becomes shriller because the frequency has increased as we have speed up the uh, wheel the number of times the spoke hits the card will increase so it means frequency will will increase and hence a high pitched sound will be produced and the sound becomes shriller so this is the activity that we can perform to check out that how pitch of a sound increases with the increase in the frequency thank you